Hello fellow Dazzlers and the new players alike, what's going on everybody? Hey, Razzle here, taking a trip through time as we do a meme tutorial for Light Gun Games. We've done one in the past, but it was for a different build of meme. There's a couple things I also forgot to mention in that tutorial, so let's not waste any time to get right into it. So we've got Carnival here pulled up. The first thing you're going to want to do is using our mouse, <laughs> how appropriate, is uh, first of all with Light Guns, you're going to want to use your mouse. You can, if you really, really want to, use your joystick or your thumbstick or whatever, but you're not going to have a good time. Uh, and this is specifically for using the mouse as a light gun a substitute. So I don't have experience using uh, actual light guns yet. I know they make them that work with uh, PCs and whatnot. This is specifically for using the mouse as a light gun. Okay, good. All right, so what we're going to do first is we need to tell me we want to use our mouse as a light gun controller. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And you're going to have a bad time. So we're going to double click that general settings. And we're going to go down to input device options. This tells me what we want to use as default uh, for different devices uh, in your game. So for light gun device, we're going to go to mouse. And while we're here, let's go to 80 stick device. Some light gun games like Space Gun, Terminator 2, and so on, they used a gun that was uh, not actually a light gun. It was a uh, basically a fancy joystick that looked like a mouse, that, uh, that looked like a gun, effectively. It's, it's short of that. So we want to set that to a mouse as well. Now say you got a buddy that wants to play with you. So what you're going to do is go to Advanced Options down here. Double click that. And you're going to come on down to Multi-Mouse. Turn that on. You go back to Previous Menu. And always make sure to save your settings. And we're going to close. Meme will go ahead and reboot itself. And what we're going to do now is go to System Settings, or if you want to be slick and show off, push to right click to bring up the system settings for the game you have selected. Now, what you're going to do is just make sure your input device options translate it over to being set to mouse. At least for this game, you know, we're only doing light gun. Don't worry about AD stick. And then go to your advanced options. Make sure your multi mouse is set to on because sometimes the global settings the general settings don't always translate over one-to-one -to, -one to your system settings so system settings are for each individual game including the different versions that you have so as we saw there 80 stick wasn't set and multi-mouse wasn't set so always double check just to make sure i've forgotten to do that before and had a bad time and and uh, uh pinched myself when i found out that it was just a simple fix like that so now we've got this set up let's go ahead and fire up carnival now typically when you set your mouse up uh as the device mine will auto map it and you can use it but since we're using multi mice we might need to do a little bit more input setting up as it were so what we're gonna do for that is hit the tab key then we're going to bring up this menu. Then we're going to push the Enter key to go to Input. Enter again to go to Input Assessments. And using the mouse arrow, uh, using the arrow keys, go down to Light Gun X Analog, push Enter. Move your mouse to the left or right. Now say you accidentally mess up and you do something like this, right? And you end up with mouse X5, Y, whatever. A good way to fix that if that happens is I believe the default key is delete. It'll get rid of whatever that is. And if you push delete again, it goes back to your default. So we're going to tap that. Move that mouse slightly to the right. Go down the like white analog. Push enter. Move the gun right. There we go. Mouse 5x. Play one trigger. We're going to use that for left click. And this game had a shotgun light gun that you could pump to reload quickly. So we're going to right click on that and we can tab out and see that we've I got a bit of a problem here what oh <laughs> whoops i moved it to the right instead there we go now we've got it working fine and that's a neat trick you can do too just pushing tab will take you will hide the menu and then you can pull it back up makes it very quick and easy uh, to get your stuff set up so now we're going to come on down to our next thing here light gun X2 analog, move this to the right. We've got our second mouse here. Okay, I don't know why that was that was not working, but again, push the delete key, enter, and there we go. Then enter. Now with controls, if you let it sit for like maybe about five seconds, you can click on it again and change it to whatever you want without having used the delete key, but delete just 
speeds the process up, as it were. Come here to trigger. Come on here to pump. Hide the menu, and now we've got this guy showing up, and the blue one disappeared because by default, man will hide the cursor for your uh, like gun game if applicable. And some of those sick games actually have their own cursors. So, put some coins in the game, as it were, and we can see something is wrong. This is not lining up with anything. Like, watch. You can see the, the shots aren't even lined up correctly. I somehow selected a stage despite not pointing at one. So we need to calibrate our gun controls. So to do this for most games, it's going to be pushing the F2 key. That will pull up the operator menu. And we can see we use volume up, volume down to move up and down. Test to select and the uh, service key to exit. So... Uh, for MAME, the default volume up, volume down is going to be the minus and plus keys. Those are the ones located uh, between the backspace key and the number zero on your keyboard. We get these nice little sounds here. So we're just going to come down to gun calibration, push the F2 key, and we're going to have to aim this stuff. So in Card Evil, player one's gun was green, player two's gun was like a pinkish color. So we just point up here, wham, point down here. Wham, and we can see the calibration. Now, the thing with MAME, at least as far as I've seen, it is kind of hard to get that like exact, so you're always going to be a little off. Uh, but it really gets worrisome when you're seeing what we saw at the stage select where it was like way, way, way far away from the mouse. So, uh, for this game, what we're going to do is just push the trigger to accept calibration. If you feel like you want to try it again, uh, again, game tells you to push either start button to recalibrate. Usually the games will have on-screen instructions to let you know what buttons you need to push to uh, accept or reconfigure. So we're going to take purple's gun here, come up here and blam, come down here and come on blam. And we see again it's a little bit off but that's okay. It's enough to at least play the game with you know emulation problems as it were. Trigger and now we can hightail out of here. Some games you will have to reconfigure every now and then. Other games work just fine. Like with Carnival, I've only really had to do it like maybe once or twice. I know some games you just got to do it whenever the system boots up, which is annoying. It really is one of those game by game cases. Some games like Lethal Enforcers don't even have like a light gun configuration. Don't even ask me how that works. So put some coins in. And now we can see that we've got player one's gun. You can see the little shots are following the gun for the most part. You can see there's a little bit of lag there, but it's something you can kind of account for. And then we can put more coins in, and now we've got player two's gun. Bing, 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 bing. All right, cool, gravy. So what do we do for other games? All right, so we're over here with Lethal Enforcers, and since we are using that dual mouse mode, we can need to set those controls back up. So let's go back here. This game only uses a big Simple one mouse and then analog, analog, and bada bing. So we've got our cursor on screen. Seems to be a little bit more slower than Carnival, a little bit more smoother. Then again, Carnival only runs third trips. Anyways, so like I said, uh, we're here at the developer menu. Again, that's the F2 key by default. Uh, this one uses the start buttons to move around. So if we go to gun check here and gun trigger to do the check, again, games will typically have. Um, I'll screw thing, you can see, and it even has some things here. So calibration with this game kind of just has its own thing here. So that gun probably worked different maybe than say Karn Evil's gun works. Exit gun check. And we're going to go back to the game mode, which we got to ding down on there. Now, Lethal Enforcers is a bit different. This game actually uses an off-screen reload. So if your game has an off-screen reload, you typically just point the gun off-screen Actually, this was a bad game to use. Because with Lethal Enforcers, uh, to reload in this game, you would have to point downwards and click. So for a lot of light gun games, you'd point off the side of the screen and shoot, right? So with Lethal Enforcers, uh, and the game's instructions specifically tell you this, you got to point downwards and click. For other light gun games, like Area 51 and whatnot, where you point off the side of the screen, just going off to the side and clicking is good. As I pointed out, the 
um, there's sometimes a bit of lag. So I know like with Area 51, it's either the left or right side doesn't work uh, correctly. And like with this game, if you see it's not working, and the game even tells you to point down, because the idea is you're using a six shooter. But if you come up here, that'll work. Now, this has gone on for a bit, but I do feel like it's something important to point out when it comes to like gun games, and that is those games I mentioned that use a mounted uh, gun joystick, if you want to call it, or as Mame calls it, the 80 stick. So, let's pull up Space Gun here. So before we get going, what we want to do again is go down to General Settings. We want to go to our uh, Input Device Options. Okay, we see 80 stick is already set the mouse. I must have done that some other time. But uh, even though, yes, you're playing a shooting game, the device type is different. It's not a light gun, it's an 80 stick, as Mame calls it. And then just make sure I input us. Uh, and then we want to come down here, advanced options, to make sure that multi mouse is on, which it is, groovy. And then let's go to. Uh, we didn't know we changed any settings. Main will reboot itself anyways, because that's just how main does. And then we're going to right click. We're going to go advanced options. Make sure multi mouse is on, which it is. Okay, this time it's behaving. When I was testing earlier for the tutorial video, it actually didn't uh, save over those settings. And it, curiously enough, Carnival didn't. And when I did it the first time, it worked just fine, so whatever. We can see 86 is just fine. All right. Now let's go ahead and boot up Space Gun. And we just do the same thing as before. We go to our input settings. We're going to go mouse button 1, mouse button 2, mouse button 3, 80 stick, mouse 5, 80 stick Y, mouse 5. There we go. And then same for player 2. And there we go. And I just put some coins in here. And we've got player one and player two going at it, switching their different things. And that's basically it. Uh, that should get you going for light gun games. Just be aware of which one uses 80 stick or uses a light gun. And you'll be able to tell because Mega Man will tell you. You'll go into the options, you'll see 80 stick or like a now if you're not intending on using multiple devices multiple mice to play with like a buddy you really don't have to worry about the 80 stick thing uh because it seems like meme just picks up on that and maps it automatically that's if you're planning on playing with a buddy so if you want to play space gun or t2 or something like that with a friend then you kind of got to fuss around with that if it's just on your own as far as i've seen you don't got to worry about that so uh Thanks for listening to my yammering. A bit of a long tutorial, but you know me. I like to be a bit more in-depth with things. Um, so thank you very much. And if there's any tutorials you guys are wanting to get more insight on, let me know, and I'll take a look at it and see what I can do for you guys. But until next time, take care, and uh, remember to step on the pedal to get away from those aliens. Oh. Okay, I'm not really getting away, but...